On this week's episode of the Lake Hill City Birds, we are not going to be watching any birds. I'm going to be talking about moonflowers. What do moonflowers have to do with birds? Well, hang on and we'll talk about that in a minute. I love planting moonflowers every spring. I think there's something magical about flowers that open up after dark. And these aren't your typical flower. These flowers get as big as a saucer. They also have a very sweet smell to them, so they are great for growing up porches. At my last house, I had them growing up my porch, and I could sit outside and watch the sunset and then watch the flowers open up. In the fall, the flowers die off, but they leave these pods behind. I leave the vine on my fence until the pods have dried out. Then I cut all the pods off, and I save them, and I put the vine in my compost pile. I planted two seeds last year, so I got two vines. And look at all the pods I got off of two vines. We're going to go in and I'm going to open up these pods. Hear them? They sound like rattles. So let me crack one open. And these are seed pods. Depending on the size of the pod, I can get up to four seeds per pod. Moonflower is a member of the morning glory family, and it's a climber plant, so it needs to be planted on a fence or a trellis or a porch or something like that. It is a perennial in tropical areas like Florida and Texas, but elsewhere it's an annual, so you have to plant the seeds each year. And they're very easy to grow. All I do is I nick the seed and I soak it overnight and then I plant it outdoors. I tried starting these seeds indoors a few years ago, but I didn't have much luck with that. So ever since, I just plant them straight into the ground. You want to make sure it has full sun and regular water until it starts to grow. Once it's established, it doesn't need much care. And if we're going through a dry spell, I'll water it every other day or so. But for the most part, it takes care of itself. Just make sure you plant them away from any pets. These plants are poisonous to pets if ingested. Most animals stay away from things they know that are bad for them. They have this natural instinct built in, but just to be on the safe side, plant them in an area where your pets aren't located. Okay, some of these pods didn't dry out good and molded, so I'm going to throw those seeds away. See how these are molded? Now, I don't think the moonflower attracts any birds, but it does attract bats and night-feeding moths. I know most people don't consider moths pretty, but there are some very pretty and interesting ones out there. It attracts the hummingbird moth, and you may have seen one of these, and if you didn't look closely, you may have thought it was a hummingbird. These moths are mistaken for hummingbirds a lot. And moths are important pollinators, even though they can be problematic in the garden at times. We have to take the good with the bad. They are great bird food. A lot of birds love moths, and bats also love moths. I have my bird feeders and bird baths in my garden because birds are so beneficial to the gardens. They eat thousands of insects, especially in the spring when they're feeding their young. So the birds I have in my garden are taking care of those nasty bugs that are going to harm my new seedlings when I plant them. And then the seed-eating birds like the finches and sparrows are also beneficial because they eat weed seeds. 
and they help keep those weeds from taking over the garden. So this is all the seeds I ended up with, 62 seeds. There was actually more than this, but I had to throw some away. If you would like some moonflower seeds, send me an email. My email is under my about page. I'd be glad to send you some. I'm not going to be planting 62 vines next year, so I am more than happy to share my seeds. Thanks for hanging out with me as I harvested my moonflower seeds. I hope y'all have a very Merry Christmas. Don't forget to subscribe for more do-it-yourself projects, gardening, bird videos, and drool-worthy human and doggy treats. Y'all have a very blessed day.